Thanks for joining me for Regional Forester TV, or what I think is going to become Region 6 Television. I'm standing here on the Deschutes National Forest, and behind me you may be able to hear the Metolius River running. I've spent a day and a half on the Deschutes looking at all kinds of interesting things. I couldn't be more impressed, as I have been across Region 6, with the work being done on this National Forest, and wish that all of you could have joined me for this trip. I want to highlight one of the experiences that I've just had today, and that is to see the tale of two rivers, the Waichus and the Metolius River Restoration. That is a story of remarkable dedication by a group of people inside and outside the Forest Service, bringing together their knowledge, their dedication, uh, their view of the future in restoring these two uh, watersheds and rivers. They're both iconic. Some of the most beautiful places on the earth. The people working on this are looking at issues of restoration, issues of education, and issues surrounding monitoring of the restoration activities that they've got going. This campaign is called The Tale of Two Rivers because it's the story of two wild and scenic rivers, the Metolius and Waichus. Waichus we call the Lost River. It lost its water, it lost its name, and it lost its fish, and people pretty much stopped caring about it. But through the work of many dedicated people and the reintroduction of fish through Pelton Round Butte Dam, Waichus is getting its fish back, its water back, and its name back, and people are really excited about this wonderful wild river we have in our backyard. The other river, the Metolius, everyone has heard of. It's a river that is an old friend. It's a river that's been loved to death. Um, it's showing a lot of wear and tear from years and years of many happy families recreating here. It has many facilities that need updating, lots of riparian areas that are popular for fishing that have become devegetated and need restoration. So these two rivers share the story of a great loss and a great rebirth. National Forest Foundation has a variety of ways in which we operate. We look for creative opportunities and ways to engage new audiences in the enjoyment of national forest lands. At the Waichus and Metolius Treasured Landscape site, we've had the pleasure of working with a wide variety of uh, partners here. This has included everything from the artist community to the local brewery to nonprofit groups like Trout Unlimited and the Watershed Council to the Sisters Chamber of Commerce. So we like to help bring new ways and new people together to partner and to find creative opportunities to benefit the National Forest lands. I'm wearing a hat right now. It's a children's forest for the Deschutes National Forest. That's a gateway for students all over Central Oregon to the riches of their natural environment. Many of those places that serve as sites for the children's forest are on the Deschutes. We have them here on the Metolius and the Waichus River. There was a time when there was no water in the Waichus River at certain times of the year. That's been restored and along with that should this year be the first steelhead returning from their journey to the oceans. These are triumphs of public interest and public policy simultaneously. They're also triumphs of community interest, people working together to make things happen in their environment. I couldn't be more proud uh, to work inside the Forest Service and to be part of this. I wish all of you could be here and I'm hoping that with the film that's been taken here is that you can get a feel for what's been achieved. And it's happening elsewhere, it's an inspiration, and I hope you are equally inspired as have been I. Thank you.